and welcome to Food for Saving My Life. Thank you very much for joining me today on this day uh, that we are going to do formations. We are going to do four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Uh, so we're going to go through it all. We're going to go through how it plays in game. We're going to go through the actual formation itself, uh, what you do with it, what kind of players you need with it, etc., etc. So guys, uh, make sure you hit a like and a subscribe. It's been a while since I've done a formation video, uh, and I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. I'm, I'm growing the channel. It is actually growing back again. Uh, after a, a little bit of a dip at and uh, people are, are definitely hitting like and subscribe so i really appreciate that guys uh, but if you could hit a like hit a subscribe uh, and grow the channel i just want to do bigger things guys i want to do big screen uh, streams i want to do giveaways i want to do all these things for you um but the only way i can do that is if you hit a like and a subscribe and join the family uh watch video 10 while you're at it uh, right uh, let's have a look at what we've got so uh, we've got going on um, four three two one. Now the big thing with four three two one is you definitely need uh, decent defenders. You need really strong defenders. You've got a four across the back. Uh, you're looking at a, a really strong a pairing of centre backs that are fast because you don't have that holding midfielder. Uh, in there uh, that a lot of other formations like say for instance I've played a lot of uh, four. 4-2 with the second variation so the holding uh, holding players you've got that option to have one really holding back this one has a just a straight line across the middle uh, where it is just basically a three across the middle now you can tell one of them to stay back you can tell two of them to stay back you can tell all three of them to stay back but they are going to stay back in the variety that they are hot in midfield rather than holding um, and that is a very different thing so you've got that to contend with to start with. You also have three up front people. Now, this is the big advantage of it um, as well, as you have three up front. Now, again, I've taken certain videos. I've watched lots of different videos on this, and I've kind of taken a couple of interpretations of how I want to play it and the type of players I want to play with it. Now, the game, you can see on screen, some gameplay at and uh, this is my silver team in like against world class i, I literally just videoed it uh, because it it kind of sets out you can see here that we start as a 442 now that's weird because you would normally start as a 433 um or a 4 uh, 4321 uh, but you do have uh, the, going forward the 433 but going backwards strangely and with these tactics and you do need to sort of hear the guy on the right who you've just seen in here who's just gonna try scoring a goal he didn't uh, uh, but the guy on the side drops right back and becomes a 4-4-2 uh, if you look at how we're defending now uh, if we have a look and uh, st uh, stop it you can see across the middle uh, we have four in the middle uh, we have four across the middle. The guy on the ball, uh, which is our right wing, uh, right forward, is actually dropping back into midfield and becoming our right midfielder and helping with defence on the way back. So now we're just about to attack. Uh, he's he's splitting up and starting to go forward. But going back, you can see how you went back and retrieved the ball. He's got the ball. If you look at our left for uh, left wing or left midfield, uh, he is a left midfielder. We have the other two in central midfield in the position you would say. So we are defending in a four four two formation, which is actually a really solid formation. The reason you see a lot of people still play four four two is because it's really open going forward, but really good going back. Now you have the advantage on this. Of it's really good going back, but you have an amazing uh, ability to go forward with three strikers and someone joining from midfield. So, uh, if we continue it, you'll see uh, that the basically you can see the guy now is there's the four three three. So we're back up to the four three three as we're attacking. Now we're going back to the four four two because we're defending. Uh, there's the defending. Uh, we've got the four at the back. We've got the four across midfield there, and we've got the two up front waiting for the ball. Uh, that is that is the crux of this uh, formation. It is absolutely genius uh, in that respect. Uh, I recorded it. I wanted to show you it. Um, and that you can see now attacking. We have one, two, three, four up front. 
and we have two in the midfield. We have three, including the defenders back and one holding back. You can see how attacking this formation is going forward. It makes a massive difference. Um, really does make a massive difference. Uh, here we are going down the right. Uh, now, if we have a look, again, talking of how well it attacks, when you can see how far it goes back when the 4-4-2. Uh, now we're looking at attack, which is what a lot of you are interested in. How do we get more goals? Well, look at this. Uh, you have uh, your left forward, you have your right forward, uh, your centre forward in there. Uh, the centre forward's just about to whack the ball and maybe score, I can't remember. Uh, but we also have uh, the two midfielders coming in as well. So we literally have a five-man strike force now that is great and again you don't get caught on the def on the attack because uh if you go backwards these guys just drop straight in uh, they absolutely drop straight in but you've got numbers in the box and i think this is really important to show you before the game starts uh, because i want you to understand how this works when i'm telling you how the instructions work so again here you can see just an example of there's your three across midfield uh, with the ball, with the guy on the right side got the ball. I think it's Pogba. The other two in there, you've got your holding midfielder or the guy I'm asking to hold. The guy to stay back further is staying back further than the other two. Uh, we've got the right back running up uh, because he does, because he's maybe a high medium. Uh, but we also have the three up front. There is our three up front uh, that you are wanting to have in that box at that time. You have your three up front. So you have three strikers, genuine strikers, not 4-3-3 three, three, where you have two wide midfielders basically and a, a lone striker you have your three midfielders your three mid uh, your three strikers and then a supporting defense so you can't help but score goals with this uh, it, like i said it's taken me uh, one of my best weekend leagues and it's taken me up to elite again um, and that's no mean feat with a player of my standard uh, so there you go guys that is how it looks in game uh, that is how we're doing it. Again, you can see a defending option here. Uh, yes, we're only playing uh, the squad battles, but you can see it's on, you know, it's on world class. Uh, so there's a lot better players than uh, my silver players. But you can see now they're swarming around. It's really good defensively. They get back in time. They get themselves back in formation very fast. Uh, and it's just the way you tell them to. But again, we'll go through the type of players there are as well. Uh, so let's have a look at the actual formation in game and uh, what we can do about it at uh, uh, right let's have a look let's get it out for you So this is how it looks in game this is how I start this is my team so yes it's very different than the silver team it really is uh, but i do have it like this for a reason uh because i like to have uh i don't have two wingers so i can't really set up as a 442 without it again if you had like a, a neymar like i have but you wanted him to start then yeah i would have 442 to start with get everybody on max chem uh but i've got uh someone like ronaldo off chem on seven or six uh, seven uh, due to the fact that he's so good that you just don't need him on chem these two are going to be your strikers uh, your central strikers this is the player that we saw dropping back uh, so he's going to be your third striker and your drop back at the same time and then these are your three across the middle now currently i actually have <coughs> uh, we currently have uh, uh, hullet as my holding and then these two as my going forward players as you'll see so it changes in game but i start with a 4-3-2-1 just because it makes it easy for me and it's it, i like the formation right so this is how it sets up i move to attacking and then i set up like this so we have a balanced uh, balanced defensive style uh, that is what we have i just like it i don't like anything else i think uh, if you go to something like pressure on heavy touch you got uh, press after loss you do tend to be out of position a lot now if you're chasing the game there's nothing wrong with cha changing that and really going for it but i think if you want to be in control of the game from day uh, from minute one 
that is definitely the way to go balanced uh, we got the width of 40 uh, and again obviously that's just because uh, you are technically in a narrow formation you are on 433 you want those midfielders to be tight in the middle uh, you want those strikers to be tight uh, and you want your mid uh, your, st your four at the back to be tight you don't want them opening up and leaving gaps in the middle so they can just walk through you want that if they're going to come down the sides uh, that's fine uh, you've got two tracking midfielders left and right and you will have uh, a player you will have technically four players in the middle to head it away stop it or get it away uh, and that is kind of what you want you don't mind them crossing too much uh, crossing isn't quite as op as it has been uh, what you want is just to get it away and if you're coming through the middle you've got a far more chance of scoring than you have down the wings uh, so again you go tight for uh, 40 mid uh, width uh, we've got depth of 65 don't adhere to this 71 plus tried it loads of times just find again you're, you're massively attacking which is great uh, but you do tend to leave gaps at the back as well uh, so we can we stick at 65 i think it's a happy medium uh we've got long ball uh, again you're looking at those quick break again what i showed you just a minute ago is everything is quick moving you're quick coming back to defend and it re jigs itself if you like to uh, come back and defend but you're also quick at going forward you want those uh, three to readjust themselves and to give you an ultimate three up front uh, with two joining uh, to be able to score goals so you want long ball to be able to do that quick switch and direct passing everybody's using direct passing for everything at the moment it is the op uh, uh chance creation it's done in the last third of the pitch uh, it really is uh, it just opens up and allows strikers to move fast so again you're looking at fast movement with a long ball and then ultimately uh, you still want the fast movement to continue when you get into that final third direct passing will continue to do that uh, you've got width of 43 again you want to continue it, it being shallow you don't want to become 433 otherwise you might as well play 433 uh you don't want your two wingers out on the wings uh, what you want them as a solid three across the middle uh, and that actually happens every time you've got uh seven up front uh seven going into the box uh, just because it helps drag your midfielders in there as well and like you saw in the video uh there is a lot of attacking to be done uh and i it's completely up to you on corners and free kicks i have two and two now this is how i set up in game just so you can see it uh i've got ronaldo and eto uh ronaldo is my faster player out of eto and ronaldo so i have ronaldo on my left because he has to adjust himself now ronaldo and eto become the two up front uh they literally become two up front uh, at times where de bruyne will drop back into that right midfield position that i showed you in the video baggio will come out to the left and become that left midfielder and then best and hullet will be the central midfielders uh, so it defends in a 4-4-2 formation and yet it goes forward in a 4-3-3 now the reason i have de bruyne there rather than best there is de bruyne's crossing is 99 uh, and again i find because that de bruyne comes back into midfield it allows you to basically do a through ball to a moving player who is going forward, which usually is De Bruyne. Uh, he gets the ball. You have Eto and Ronaldo already in the box. You have someone like Baggio joining as well, uh, maybe best on the edge. And again, you get that perfect cross. Uh, and if you've got a header uh, from Eto or Ronaldo, it's going in. If you've got a rebound, you've got Baggio and Best coming in. And there's a goal. And, and Best with all the will in the world and i absolutely love him as an attacker he's not the greatest crosser of the ball uh, you get probably one decent cross out as five or six uh, de bruyne is pretty much four out of five crosses are absolutely spot on uh, so that's why i have that formation and why that i have them in that placing you might wonder why de bruyne is a striker he really isn't although he can score goals uh right let's have a look at how it's set up we we'll start with the defense uh, we have come for crosses for the defender i always have come for crosses with the goalkeeper sorry uh due to the fact that they do tend to dither a little bit in this version of uh fifa especially since the patch i found that they do dither a little bit um and again it comes for crosses kind of tells them overrules it and say no you come for crosses whatever happens uh, and if you've got a decent sized goalkeeper that usually means they either get it or punch it away uh, with van der Sar, he tends to punch it away um defense 
I keep on exactly the same, so they're on ba balance, that's okay. We have, of course, right back and left back that we have on stay back while attacking and overlapping. Now, you saw in the video uh, my right back coming up on the right hand side and looking at that outside overlap. Now, the reason we put overlap on there is because it keeps them on the sidelines. So it keeps them, you can put on there up and across, and that will keep, you know, hug the sidelines. But Eve overlap does the same anyway. It keeps them on the sideline. What you would have if you didn't put overlap is you'd have them marauding up the right and then they would cut in and they would basically become a bit of a mess. He would end up next to Best. He would end up sort of getting in De Bruyne's way. Uh, he would be doing that. What you want is all a constant outlet back to the, to recycle back out to the wing. So again, if De Bruyne can't get it through, you want De Bruyne to be able to turn, look out, pass to Darmian and then Darmian to be able to put that ball in and again then as we said just a minute ago Eto, Ronaldo, Baggio and Best having the chance to score uh, so that is why you have them on overlap uh, and both of them do exactly the same uh, right so we have a Baggio first on this left hand side uh, he is an attacking guy uh, he is great at shooting he is very very good at passing uh, so with that in mind I have him on stay back while attacking because I like to be a little bit more defensive with him and his passing is so good you don't have to have him going into the box but he does actually naturally the reason I have it on that you can have him on just balance to be fair but the reason I have him on that is he does wonder in there regardless but the big thing you'll see on this one is cover wing. For God's sake, have cover wing. Otherwise, you won't get that 4-4-2 four, four, formation when you're coming backwards. Will not have it. Uh, so make sure you have cover wing. But I also have stay back just to be that little bit more defensive. Now, your defensive midfielder in the middle, and you want a kind of a Kante. You want your, you know, a Terrera, people like that that I've seen. Uh, that's what you want. Again, I, I can't leave out. De Bruyne, I can't leave out Hullet and I can't leave out Baggio at the moment. Uh, so I've I've picked Hullet as my more defensive midfielder. He's an absolute beast wherever he goes, whether he's going forward, whether he's going back. He's an absolute beast, but uh, he is my more defensive midfielder. So uh, he has stay back on attacking. I want him to stay on the edge of the cro uh, box for crosses. I don't want him going in there. I don't want him thinking he can go in there. That's not his position. He is my furthest one back. And again, if you remember in the video, you can see one of the three holding back a little bit further. Got that reins on. Uh, that is exactly what, who that was. So you've got uh, uh, Hullet holding back and we've got cover centre, of course, because we don't need him going out to the wings because we have Baggio doing that. And we also have De Bruyne in a minute covering the wings. So that's why. Uh, right. We have uh, George Best. We have him on get forward. This is the guy that is definitely going forward. Now, out of your two midfielders, whoever is best at going forward. So you've got your Awas, uh, you've got your you know, De Bruyne, your people like that. That's the type of player you want going into midfield. Uh, now, obviously, like I said, I swapped him around because I find Best far better at attacking and I find De Bruyne far better at assisting. Uh, so we've got get into the box, uh, uh, get into the box for cross, get forward and cover center. Again, you don't want him getting in De Bruyne's way. And it's really important you have that cover center on there. Talking of De Bruyne, this is how he looks. So we have stay central because what you want is those three to be central. You want them to stay as that 4-3-3. Three, three. I know I keep on sort of pushing it, but that is the beauty of this uh, this formation is there is a three in the middle, uh, not a two, not a one, uh, not a two before. Because uh, otherwise you might as well play uh, sort of 4-2-3-1 or something like that. This is 4-3-3, basically. The proper 4-3-3 rather than having wingers out there. Um, and yeah, so you have stay central, get in behind, and then come back on defence. And the reason you have come back on defence is everything that I've said already. He drops back in. When we're going backwards, Baggio comes out to the left to become the left midfielder and protect that left midfield. Hullet moves across to the centre. Best moves across to the centre. Uh, and then... De Bruyne drops into that right midfield position making it really hard for the opposition to get past uh, and you're getting the benefit of that 4-4-2 feel to the formation now these are your two strikers whatever happens these two go up so if you're defending and then you get a quick break that long ball if you will uh, you will always have Ronaldo and Eto up there so it becomes a 4-4-2 
on the break, uh, which again, 4-4-2 is the most uh, sort of attacking formation. So that is why this is really good. So you have Ronaldo, stay central, get in behind, stay forward. Uh, we also have the same for Eto, uh, stay for central, get in behind and stay forward. Now that is it, guys. You can see here how it's set up. You know, it, this is how it ends as you're attacking in a 4-3-3. Uh, uh, you have Best going into the box. You have Baggio probably on the edge of the box. You have Hullet holding back. At, uh, and you have a solid four at the back. At, so you have plenty of opportunities to score. And this is the reason why I have done so well uh, in the recent competitions uh, and in the league, uh, getting to elite, is because you have so many chances to score. And if you have people like say for instance Eto or Ronaldo if you have a, a CR7 or you have a, a Mbappe or you know all these great players that by now a lot of their, you know a lot of people have got uh, and I come up against then basically you've got plenty of chances to get that ball in the back of the net and attack that back four or back three uh, so the, and again to be fair it works amazingly against back three it works really well against the back four really well but against the back three it seems to really thrive sometimes you struggle against the back three because there's three back there they've got a couple of holding midfielders uh, they, this really does because you're three on three at all times so they've got to kind of mark and with that movement with De Bruyne that movement with Ronaldo coming wide and coming in at uh, the defenders don't really seem to keep up so it gives us a, a massive advantage but that is the 4-3-2-1 guys that is the 4 3 2 one technically 4-3-3 four, uh, four, three, three, or coming backwards a 4-4-2 four, four, uh, guys give it a go give it plenty of chances uh, it took me probably a week to master it uh, and do really well with it but once I did uh, like I said I went into weekend league I did incredibly well in weekend league I had one of my best weekend leagues since I started FIFA and uh, again, I broke into elite from Division One at uh, from the start of Division One as well. I went all the way up uh, and got myself into elite this week. So there you go, guys. It is definitely worth giving a go. Uh, any questions? Let me know down below, uh, and uh, let me know how you get on with the games from there onwards. Uh, enjoy yourself with your uh, forever formation, at, uh, and I will see you soon. Take care of yourself as always, and if you can find someone, you can. Bye bye.